Hey everybody, Carl Suf here from Greensock, and today I am going to demystify the immediate render property that is on from tweens. So, if you ever created an animation and a from or stagger from tween hasn't worked the way you wanted it to, this video is for you. So, first thing to point out is that from tweens animate from existing values to whatever you specify. And by default, all from tweens set immediate render to true. All right, and we're going to show you why it's set to true by default and explain the situations where you're going to want to set it to false. All right, so I have a very simple demo set up here. Um, we're starting out with everything in my demo set to visibility hidden. And as soon as my JavaScript kicks in, we're going to set it to visible. Okay, we don't want anything showing up before the JavaScript executes. So with that out of the way, um, we have this very exciting example where we're showing you three rectangles that we're very proud of, okay? Um, and in order to introduce them properly, we just want them each to fade in from an opacity of zero. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a tween here that is going to take the green box and fade it in from an opacity of zero to its current opacity of one. And you'll see now that when I run, we animate from the opacity of zero to an opacity of one. Perfect, all right? Next, what I wanna do is introduce the other boxes, but I want there to be a little bit of a delay, okay? We wanna really build the excitement about what are these other two colors that we're going to get. So I paste in this code where we're going to next take the gray box, fade it in from an opacity of zero, but for to build that anticipation, we're gonna have a delay of two, and the same thing on the orange box. So this code here is gonna build a little bit of a sequence that fades each one in, all right? Okay, and so the idea here is that although the orange box does not start fading in until the delay of three has transpired, we're immediately setting the opacity to zero, okay? So as soon as I start, the opacity of everything is zero, that means that we're immediately rendering it at zero, but the animation doesn't start until the delay transpires. So in 99% of the cases where you're using a from tween, uh, this is the behavior you would want. Next, let's take a look at what will happen if immediate render was not set to true, okay? I'm just gonna take this code and replace these two tweens that now have immediate render set to false. What that means is that the opacity will not be set to zero until the tween starts playing, and this gives us the odd result of this, where gray and orange show up immediately, but you don't see them fade in until their delay transpires. So again, this is why immediate render is set to true by default, because when you're introducing things in these types of delayed sequences, obviously we want the opacity set to zero immediately. That is going to be our intention. All right, and now for the good stuff, where you may get into trouble. Immediate render true may cause undesirable results when creating multiple from tweens on the same properties of the same object. All right, and I'm going to explain exactly what that means. But I want to point out the word undesirable, okay? After watching this video, they will not be unexpected results. So to show this, I have a new demo set up where I have just one green box, okay? And when I run, we're just doing a very simple opacity fade from zero to one. But since we want to draw a lot of attention to this one box, um, perhaps we want it to blink, all right? Maybe we want it to fade in twice, okay? So what I'm gonna do is copy this tween, I'm going to paste it, and I'm just gonna put a delay on this second tween of, say, two seconds, okay? So what we might expect is that we would fade in from an opacity of zero to one, and then two seconds later, again, we'll do the same thing. Let's fade in from an opacity of zero to an opacity of one. So I'm gonna hit run. Let's see what we expect. And, hmm, that was undesirable, but not unexpected. So. Here's the deal. We did not see it fade in from zero to one a second time. Fades in, and then it just disappears, okay? And the reason for this is that from tweens animate from existing values, existing to whatever you specify, all right? And immediate render is set to true by default. 
But there's a third thing to know. When a tween renders for the first time, its start and end values are recorded. All right, and this is really the kicker. So what happens is that the first tween immediately sets the opacity to zero. The second tween is a from tween and says, hey, you know what? I also need to immediately set the opacity to zero, but it's also trying to record the start and end values. And since tween number one set the opacity to zero, we're telling this tween to tween from an opacity of zero to its existing value, which is what? Zero, as set by the first tween. So literally, this tween here is trying to tween from an opacity of zero to an opacity of zero. All right, so that's what you need to know. In order for this to work correctly, we would need to say immediate render false. And I shouldn't say work correctly, I should say work as we desire it to, because it is working correctly right now. When I hit run, you'll see what happens. We fade in once, and then we fade in again, all right? So the reason why this worked the desired way is because the second tween did not record its start and end values until the first tween was done playing. So the first tween goes from opacity zero to one, and then by the time the second tween needs to render, the opacity is already existing at one, so it can tween from opacity zero to opacity one. So hopefully that clears it up. And just remember, the only time you really need to set immediate render to false is when you have conflicting tweens on the same properties of the same object. Oh, and just one more thing, going back to that first video where I had three delayed tween light from tweens, um, I just used three tweens to illustrate how immediate render works. In real life, you would probably just use a tween max dot stagger from, and one line of code would get you the exact same effect, and a stagger from also has immediate render set to true on all the tweens, which means that the gray and orange are hidden until it is time for them to fade in from an opacity of zero. Uh, check out our learning section. We have a whole video on stagger from and also in the docs. So hopefully this demystifies immediate render. You can use this property with confidence. If you have any questions, swing by our forums. We'd love to help.